Hey you guys, what's up? And um, I am doing another map for Minecraft it's called Pilaja or whatever it's called. And so let's just begin. And I don't know what the texture pack is for this map, but I changed my skin for it too. Adventurer. So it looks pretty nice, but the torches look weird. All right, let's start reading. Welcome to Pillagea, a Minecraft open world RPG. You are free to roam the world, visit destined cities, explore the hidden treasures in the world, complete quests, solve the mysteries of the old gods, and do whatever you would like. Rules of Pillagea. You may go and do whatever you want. You do not have to complete the main or side quests. You may only dig and build in areas that are not man-made, such as village, villages and towns, dungeons, ruins, temples, or anything with signs saying that structure is man-made. You only, you may only rest, craft, and use a furnace in town. Your house is the right side of the village near the inn. Go get your map and start, your, and start an adventure. Rules update. Sorry. Do not remove items from dispensers. You may not break mobs, spawners, and may not trade villagers shop owning. Villagers have custom trade options, can provide uses the item exchange for emeralds. It is advised that you play on normal difficulty, brightness around 50-65% instead of the default. If you see this block like this, I will. it will either set your spawn activation secret or in the village home then push your tell useful information you don't have to push any of these buttons push button about is that mob griefing recommended okay push the button above to keep your inventory on death push the button if you are lazy to walk to your house. No. Nope. Alright. So. Go to your house in the right side of the villager. Village near the inn. Get your map and start your adventure. Okay. Let's just before we start that. Throughout the world are signs with items on them. Each sign has different meaning. Even if mob griefing is turned off, the signs below will still break. If they break, please do not take and or use the items that are dropped within the, within the break. Animal sign marks entrance of a smith shop. Sword means the weapons. Metal means armor, of course. Bed marks in. Fixed axe marks blacksmith mine. Sign marks quest lodge. Emerald marks all supply shop or trading post. Another star indicates that the artifact of five is nearby. Piece of the black wool marks the black mark item, market item. Also know that you find the golden melon, hold on to it. Each town has a black mark item, be sure not to use any. Not to lose any. Alright, that was a very long introduction. Let's see with this first town, it's mostly a tutorial stage. It helps get you familiar in the basic versions of the map. If you wish to start the main quest right away, then start the quest meet with Lucas in the white white winds. However, if you don't if you don't do this, maybe under equipped for the journey, your choices are recommended not skipping to the story. Alright, so Um let's try to find my house and look at the map. So it's right next to outside of the town, next to it in and um the ends is bed quest lodge okay let's see i think that's another quest lodge welcome to nordis board six quests are available in way water village quests can be found in the chest in the villagers homes the board tells you how many quests are available you okay once you have finished a quest head to the quest lodge and turn it in 
stupid water. Right, so you're trying to find my house and I am lagging. Okay. Water brooks this way. Haha, we found it. Alright, home sweet home. Save point, push the button to set your spawn. Alright, you got that. Emerald, the flying sword. Family sword, nice. The rules. Got a family sword. The rules. Of Haliji. One, this map is open world. Don't feel pressured to complete anything you don't want to. Most importantly, explore the lots of secrets in Haliji. And if you have to be searching and explore to find any of the good ones, you may not break and I'll read that later and tell you guys what that's all about. Alright, so first, I'm going to start a little quest. Water one in. Why are you guessing? <laughs> but, sorry that this episode right here ain't that interesting because, um, you know, starting ain't that really interesting. You know, videos and stuff. But, in the next episode, we are going to get a quest, and we are going to see what kind of quest we want. Read instructions to the right of the wall. Chickens is what's for dinner. The Walking Dead, Pork and Meat of Kings, Old Bones Tell No Tale, and Do the Creep. Dispensal Shed. Please dispose of any quests or unwanted items here. Quest. Alright, let's see. Um, do the creep. Recently, villagers have been spotting creepers in the surrounding area. The last thing that this villager... Why do I keep saying villager? Village needs a creeper blowing up holes in everyone's home. Kill the creeper in the surrounding area and... Bring with a sword for bring back four gunpowders as proof rewards. One hidden one wooden hoe, one wooden shovel, one black of TNT, three bottles of expensive, two emeralds. Alright. Instructions on the wall to the right. After finishing quests, drop the quest book into the corresponding shaft and to get your reward. Alright, well, I don't know how that works, but anyways, that's how I'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on the, the creep. Alright, goodbye.